For ACUSports.com, I'm Grant Boone here with head women's basketball coach Julie Goodenough and director of athletics Lee Daly on big news today for the women's basketball program. Coach Goodenough gets a contract extension now through 2020. Let me start with you, Lee, because you're the one that gave her the contract. Why'd you do it and why now? First off, it was the easiest decision I think I've made since I got here, but uh, Julie is an incredible leader and, and a wonderful basketball coach, and we wanted to reward her for the incredible success that we've had this season and the last several years since she's been here. But also, we wanted to secure our long-term future with women's basketball because I know there's a lot of ADs out there wondering if Julie's available, and there's a lot of recruits out there wondering if Julie's going to be here uh, much longer. And so I wanted to send a strong statement to all the ADs, all the recruits out there. Julie Goodenough is going to be our women's basketball coach for a long time, and we are so thrilled about that. Yeah, well, Coach Goodenough was named the Southland Conference Coach of the Year on Tuesday, but you said this contract offer to her, the extension offer, has actually been in the works for a few weeks. This isn't just this week, right? Yeah, I approached Dr. Schubert about a month ago and told him that this is what I wanted to do, and then I actually told Julie several weeks ago that this was coming. I didn't want her to feel the pressure of, I had to win the conference championship, or I had to make it to the NIT, or I had to win Coach of the Year. All those things happened uh, anyways, but we had our decision already made that Julie uh, deserved this, And we wanted to instill her uh, with a vote of confidence from Dr. Schubert and myself and allow her to coach freely for the rest of the season. So this has been in the works for several weeks. I officially offered it to her on Monday, and she accepted this morning. Well, the the hashtag on social media is ACUE4C Excellence for Christ. In what way, in your way of saying it, does Julie exemplify that? Julie exemplifies it all day, every day. Um, She has extremely high standards for her and her team. Uh, she is not someone that I have to remind, hey, Julie, we need to do this excellently. No, no, that's she's been doing this long before I got here. It's just, it's just part of who she is. Uh, she has very high standards, and she's bought in and has been for a long time into doing things at a very high level and to do that to honor God. She's a wonderful uh, Christian who uh, views her job like I do as a ministry and as an opportunity to demonstrate her faith to those around her. And so she's been excellent for Christ for a long time. And from my perspective, she's kind of the poster child for that motto, motto because the way that she runs her program, the way she coaches her team is exactly what I would like if you were to ask me what it means to be excellent for Christ. It's nice when people talk and say good things about you, uh, isn't it, Coach? It's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's kind of hard to hear sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Right. Well, uh, it, it, this is front page news. You are the coach of the year, and now you have the contract extension through 2020. Can you just share what it feels like uh, to, to know that you're going to be here a while? Uh, well, I, anyone who asks about my job here, about working at ACU, Um, I'm pretty consistent with saying that it is a privilege to be the women's basketball coach at Abilene Christian University. It's an honor to represent Abilene Christian uh, every time our players put their uniforms on. And um, I'm thrilled, uh, you know, to to have a contract extension and and know where I'm going to be and know who the face of the program will be through 2020. Um, It's just, um, you know, it's a blessing for my family uh, to be a part of such a first class institution. Coach, you're 82 and 34 in four seasons here at ACU. The last three of those, though, have been in Division One, and you're 61 and 27, which is outrageous for, for a team transitioning into Division One. What's been the key? Uh, you know, we are, are constantly recruiting. You know, recruiting never stops, and we tell everyone that will listen that uh, ACU is different. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a different place, and we feel like if we can get recruits on campus, we have a really good shot at them committing to us. Uh, the people here are different. Uh, the support system within the athletic department is different. Um, we, uh, you know, every time we step out on the floor to play a game in Moody, I can look around Moody Coliseum, and it's just peppered with athletic department staff and coaches. Uh, it's just an unreal uh, supportive environment that we work in. Uh, we are able to, to get in the homes of, uh, you know, Division One athletes that are looking for something special and looking to be part of a family-type atmosphere, and that's what we've created here at ACU. And um, it's just a, it's a very unique place uh, uh, where – not only is the athletic department striving for excellence, but everything, every event, everything that you attend at ACU, it's first class. And that's just what we're able to promote, uh, you know, being a, a little bit of a platform for the entire university. When we're out talking about ACU, we're talking about the professionalism, the first class uh, nature of everything that occurs here. Uh, it definitely is about the people, but it's about, um, 
you know, running this whole uh, university in a very first class manner. And you can expect, a, a, you know, top grade education if you attend school here. And uh, you can do all of that under the umbrella of uh, a very intentional Christian atmosphere. I mean, it's a very, very unique and special situation, especially at the D1 level. In just your second year, well, second full year, I guess, as a Division One program in the Southland Conference, you win the league at 17-1, and one, you go to the WNIT. As you now have this contract signed and in hand and you look forward, how big can this thing go? Well, it's, it's huge, and uh, I know I've heard Lee say this in, in several meetings already, and I really believe this too. I mean, uh, this has been a, 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 a historical year for us, very memorable. It's exciting, but we are just at the very – cusp of the exciting days ahead and and what the future holds for ACU athletics um, so you know I, I'm excited to be a part of it here to be the head coach of one of the programs and um, I believe for women's basketball I mean this year is going to be tough to beat but I just think we are just now beginning to get the athletes in that we need the players that we need we've got interest from you know, high caliber D1 players that we're recruiting and I think the future is really bright for our program as well as the other programs within the department. Well, a coach with great vision is now locked up through 2020. Head women's basketball coach Julie Goodenough signs the extension for Coach Goodenough and for Director of Athletics Lee DeLeon. I'm Grant Boone for ACUSports.com.